We're ready for family vacation. I've got the van all loaded up. I wanted to show you my bike rack that holds six bikes on the back of my van here. You can see I've got an assortment of bikes on here. So this is just a contraption I built welded to the one and a quarter inch receiver. I've got a hitch tightener on there. And then I've got these twist tie thingies you can get from Home Depot. Uh, the top has these two straps to counter the weight of the bikes that are pulling down on there. Let's get a shot of that. So I'm about to go 500 miles with this thing and I'll report back if stuff fell off. Alright, so now I'll show a couple details. I've made it about 500 miles with this uh, setup. I've got two bikes on there. I'll kind of show how this is laid out. So you can see I've got, for each bike, I've got two bent half inch pieces of steel. Uh, this is just some PVC tubing I bought at the hardware store. And these are welded on and it holds the bike. You can kind of see here, it holds the bike with the wheel off to the side here like this. And there's six sets of those. You can kind of see it there. Um, I've got the hitch tightener down here. Um, this is just a regular inch and a quarter hitch. I've got this that I started out with. It's just bolted on. And then I've got a weld on the back here too. And then this is welded to this piece. So it's pretty the hitch tightener it doesn't really go anywhere so I put the twist ties around here to hold this on I say twist ties they're these big uh, uh, night eyes ties I think is what they're called and I just put my bikes on here right across and then I've got these little nubs on the bottom that I welded on this is just more pieces of half inch bar that I welded on so you line it up with the tire and then you can put when you put your tie on there holds it kind of where it needs to be. Um, yeah, so it's not it's not super difficult to do. I uh, also 3D printed these end caps or PETG. They didn't turn out that great, but it is what it is. It's it's a lot better than spending the seven or eight hundred bucks on a different type of rack that you could buy. Um, and this seems to work just great. Note that I do have my I have my tie downs crisscrossed and twisted so there's not any vibration when I'm driving. Um, overall, works pretty good.